And finally, our play of the night takes us back to Norwell. This one uh, didn't count, but we got to show it to you anyway. The half-court heave from Patrick Roudenbush goes, but as you'll see on the replay, the referee gets in his way, which causes him to let go of it just a touch late, so it doesn't count. But it's worth a lot of points in our hearts. Yeah. And it's worth a play of the night nominee as well. Homestead gets the win to finish the season. He was, he wanted it to count. He did. He and did, if did. the referee, I, I shot that play, if, if the, I, I believe, it would have been close, if the referee hadn't been standing there and he hadn't bobbled it a little bit there, I think he would have gotten that one off. That's tough. In time. But uh, he, he gets play of the night. So all's Indeed. well that ends well. Got a wild idea. Mr. Goody, just play the damn game. Quit showboating. I know that's a new concept for you rich boys, but try it. This is footing. There's going to be a technical foul. Showboat. Loomis gets two. But then he gets teched up for being a jackass. Stay classy, Homestead. May you lose in the first round like you always do. Typical Homestead attitude. No class whatsoever. What else is new? Congratulations. You didn't even cover the damn spread. You ought to go home embarrassed. Lighting with the first. Yeah, I told you at halftime I've been doing this for 10 years. One of my greatest joys is when Belmont beat Homestead. He was a, a two-way star in his own sport, just like Babe Ruth was. Uh, do you have that play-by-play -play call, Seton, of the high school game in Indiana? Paulie, would you set this up? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a 4A playoffs Indiana high school basketball, and it's like a web broadcast of the game, and so it's like a neutral party is you know, commenting on the game. It's Homestead is the uh, going in for the win. A kid named Trent Loomis is going in for the jam. And he ha he doesn't really hang on the rim, but they tee him up for just swinging back on the rim. He didn't should have been teed up. So Trent Loomis for Homestead going in for the slam to put an exclamation point. There's going to be a time to foul. Showboat. Loomis gets two. But then he gets teched up for being a jackass. Stay classy, Homestead. May you lose in the first round like you always do. Typical Homestead attitude. No class whatsoever. What else is new? Congratulations. You didn't even cover the damn spread. Spread. <laughs> He's got a hunt the other game. Who knew there was a spread in Indiana high school basketball? But doesn't that sound like Will Ferrell? At least when I heard it, now he said stay classy, so there's a little Ron Burgundy in there. But Grant Lewis, uh, juvenile delinquent, he also yeah. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, the announcer got fired from his job, by the way. He chose to leave. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, mutual party. <laughs> I, I always wanted to do an honest broadcast. And, and uh, just so you say what you really think when you do a game. And you have an analyst there. And I always wanted, I didn't know if there was some kind of medium or market for this. But you do a second screen where you're just honest. Where you really give your opinion about somebody. And you, you may not like them or you may love them or maybe you heard something. And you just... You just give an honest opinion about that. Yeah, Paul. You did this once with me. We were at the Houston Astros uh, Stadium for the All-Star Game. We were watching the Home Run Derby, and we were we were not on duty. And you and I, and I don't, maybe it was Salisbury, were sitting in the center field in this area oh, near camera people. Yeah. Like, the only place we could find, we were sitting next to the center field cameraman. And, uh, you know, and you were going, uh, up next, uh, rampant steroid abuser. Occasional home run hitter, and you would give the name, <laughs> and it was—I'm not going to give the name of who you said—but you were just—you were doing PA announcer, you were doing honest PA announcer for about two. And hours. now, that is. <laughs> it was a fun night. But if you did the honest play-by-play, -play, and it, I mean, people would probably eat that up. 
This guy is overpaid and we can't get out from underneath his contract. Say hello to... <laughs> This soft tossing lefty gives up home runs like I take breaths. <laughs> Say hello to. <laughs> we got a new show. Uh, yeah, the, the honest announcer. I always wanted to do that. I thought that'd be fun.